What shall I do now? Oh, let's do an unboxing. Welcome back to the shop and my channel. And I guess my sitting down shooting area now with the new shop. Anyhow, let's have a good old fashioned unboxing. Stuff. Um, I know I've done like three of these the whole time I've been on YouTube. Is it some new fancy Ryobi tool? Could it be that I went and drank the green Kool-Aid and I've got maybe bought something from Festool? Or maybe some of the Chinese guys at Banggood. A copy of one of the yellow or the blue guys stuff. Let's find out. Ooh, it's gray. It's gray. It's not green. It's heavy. It's boring. It's drill bits. Plain old everyday drill bits with a difference. So, uh, for years, I've had two twist drill, twist drill uh, kits, sets. Uh, one is an, a nice little uh, set from uh, Norton, which I've had for a long time, and they're kind of used up somewhat. And then a 115, a very cheap 115 uh, bit drill index to fill in all the gaps from the Norton drill bits. So I finally, as I said in my earlier videos, I finally broke down and this needs some cleaning. And I bought a very nice set. Come on, open up. Oh, it's stuck. I think the case is pretty, pretty, there we go. And everything's co coated in a nice sheen of oil. I'll have to improve on that. Yep, there we go. And that goes there. And that goes there. And that goes there. Kind of. Drills. 115 set of drills. Uh, I've got all the drills that are in the Norton kit right here, which are in fractions. I have the number drill bits over here, and I've got the number drill bits here with uh, their indicated, um, excuse me, I take that back. These are the letter drill bits. These are the drill bits in fractions. These are the number drills, and they have their markings also in the diameter of the drill wire. So, nice. This, up close and personal, replaces these. This is the Norton drill index I've had for a long time. And it's, like I said, Tony's drills are toast. Uh, I'm missing a bunch of these drills. And this was the drill index that I bought very cheaply, I think on Amazon or something, way back in the day. It has the same selection as these drills here. but much lower quality. And they burn out real quickly, and I'm kind of missing some of those. I'm making a lot of noise here. So this one drill index here will replace every drill bit I have here. So now I have a complete index of drill bits, and it's, they're split point, 135 degree split point drill bits. So what's the beauty of split points um, here's a picture of what a split point looks like, is you almost never need to punch a, 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 do a, do a center punch to start the bit or do a pilot hole to start the bit because the points are split point. They will self-start and will stay where you hold them. Make sure you got a 90 degrees on it. Let's get a close-up. To repeat. This 
this, this section of the index has everything the Norton kit has in it uh, from 1 16th up to 1 half. The letter indexes go from A to Z. The number indexes in this case go from 1 to 59 or from 228 thousandths to 41 thousandths. Now what this means is you have a drill index with 115 drill bits in it that uh, graduate in 1 64th of an inch increments between the sizes. So from, from 41 thousandths all the way up to half inch in 1 64th inch increments. It's a machinist set, yes. And this, this one cost me a little over $200. You can spend over $1,000 for one of these for a cobalt precision set for a machine shop. I don't need that. I just need a really good drill set. It's better than the $50 one I bought many years ago. If, back on that cheap one earlier, uh, when I, you measure some of these bits, they're close and some are, are off by the diameter, wire diameter that it says it's supposed to be. These ones are much better and I'll show you. This is just gonna be a quick test. Um, because in this one I found some were different. So let's pick a 23, which is 154 thousandths. This is a dial vernier, um, one thousandths of an inch per increment. And that's, the, the shaft is 154 and a half, and the bill, drill bit face, I mean, the, the, the cutting surface is 154, yeah, gotta get it, gotta get it right, gotta get it right, 154. Just one needle width shy of 154. Now, we're dealing with wood for the most part, so it's like, you know, come on. Let's try, um, let's see. The number seven drill I use a lot for drilling and tapping for a quarter 20, it's 201 thousandths. And it's 201 thousandths on the nose. So there, I have my new drill index to replace these two. This will go up on the shelf up there where the drill press is gonna be. No, it hasn't arrived yet. And I'm going to call the manufacturer because all the drills are in fine shape. The box got damaged in shipping. I'm going to see if they can send me a new, a new box for the drills. So that's it. A quick unboxing of a new drill. Yeah, it's all oily. A new drill index for the shop with greater precision. Uh, split points. These should last me. These are much better material as well than these. These are, these are, um, um, these are carbon steel. Uh, these are not carbon steel, I think whatever they are, but this is, these are a, high car, a carbon steel uh, drill bit. It'll drill everything I need to drill from plastic, wood, um, non-ferrous and ferro alloys, steels, aluminum, the whole nine yards. So there. Until next time, buy a new tool.